The human remains that were discovered in 2013 during the construction of a new cafe at Durham University's Palace Green have helped to solve a 400-year-old mystery. And today researchers from the university's archaeological department presented the only plausible explanation that these skeletons are indeed Scottish soldiers imprisoned after the 1650 Battle of Dunbar, one of the most brutal and bloodiest battles under the command of Oliver Cromwell. Analysis of those remains has indicated that they were predominantly adolescents and young men, so a group not representing the general population. Uh, tests of the teeth of those individuals have suggested they're not uh, local and are most likely to come from Scotland. Um, and the dating of the remains uh, centres on the sort of mid-17th century, which is consistent with the capture of the uh, Scottish prisoners from the Battle of Dunbar. It was very emotive, really, to because most of the time when you're examining archaeological remains, you don't know the exact circumstances um, of that person's life and death. Whereas this could be tied um, to a particular historic event, so that's quite unusual um, with archaeological remains. As many as 28 jumbled skeletons were excavated from two burial pits, with many more believed to be buried. So what caused so many of these soldiers to be disposed of in such a haphazard way? The uh, battle, when it was finally begun, uh, was over remarkably quickly. It was finished in an hour. Cromwell's troops were highly disciplined, highly organised, experienced and a lot of the uh, Scots army was made up of recent recruits, young lads who hadn't got much fighting experience. So it was a disastrous defeat for the Scots forces and a large number of them were taken prisoner. A, a large number were marched south initially to Newcastle and then on to Durham. Uh, later they were given very, very poor rations from what we can tell. They were sick, uh, they had been sick beforehand, a lot of them, and sickness like dysentery ran through the ranks very quickly. Uh, very, very nasty. It's sometimes referred to as the bloody flux, which certainly sounds very unpleasant. Uh, and yes, it would have gone through very quickly. It's carried by dirty water, by insanitary conditions, both of which would have applied here. The announcement of this historically significant discovery coincides with tomorrow's anniversary of the Battle of Dunbar. Remembrance prayers will be held at Durham Cathedral, where a plaque commemorating the Scottish soldiers was placed in 2011. And Canon Rosalind Brown believes the horrific conclusion to the Scottish soldiers' fate helps to remind us of the humanitarian crises we face in today's world. What I've learned from the archaeologists about the people, they are now, you know, they're essentially teenage boys um, who probably left home and their parents were still wondering what was happening to them. Um, but we do every day pray for victims of war and particularly at the moment we're praying every day for the refugees so in that sense it gives it a context that this is a historical event that was tragic and we can say it probably should never have happened but we didn't live in those days um, but it is but one of the many tragic situations that are remembered literally daily in the cathedral um, so in that sense it's part of our history we shall be naming it tomorrow but we shall then go on praying for victims of war today.